The reigning world silver medalists, Alyona Savchenko and Bruno Masso, on the ice as they heard that crowd and saw those scores, perhaps. I always wonder if people are paying attention to the other scores. You try not to, but man, when that kind of energy hits, you know exactly what's going on. Again, they had a four point lead over the Canadians after the short. They can make up a lot of points with this spectacular triple twist. Just breathtaking. Throw double axle, opting to play it safe. Triple toe, tap toe. Triple toe, Bruno pulls out of the second triple toe that might be all it takes side by side triple sow and Bruno only getting a single sow cow off Beautiful throw, triple sow cow.
An imperfect day on the jumping passes. You see the disbelief on Bruno's face. Should be enough to hang on for the silver, but not gold in a day where the Canadians were just unstoppable. And it is a bit of a cliche, but this is a marathon this season, not a sprint. They won two golds last year in their first season on the Grand Prix as a team. Had to drop out, withdraw from the finals because of her ankle injury. And even with those mistakes, they're basically even old. The score just came down mm. as they downgraded the second toe. But still, in the realm of the technical score with the French, but you have to think they will most likely concede the free program, but they do have that cushion in the overall scores. A four point cushion, enough? I think it'll be enough just because the technical score is still up near 70 points. Their component scores will be very high as they always are. But it's gonna be much closer than they wanted. And when you intend to be at the top of the podium in the Olympic Games, you have to think that you're the favorite going into every single event. So even coming away with a silver medal, it just has the feel of defeat, even though the Canadians just really skated as well as they could have. Well, you can hear a pin drop in Brant Center. And here's a look at that spectacular triple twist. Just so much height and explosiveness to the top. But here's where things started to go wrong. The side-by-side -side triple sow cow just getting ahead of himself. Doesn't keep the weight firmly over the left foot throughout the takeoff, loses the check, and there's just no way to press through the toe pick and complete all three revolutions. But it's a beautifully choreographed program. So many intricate transitions. It's just constantly moving from one beautiful position to the next. But you have to deliver when your top competitors come out swinging. Alyona with so much experience. She has had so many highs. She's experienced disappointments as well. The free score. 138.32, a new season's best for them. Wow, not even, uh, but that'll not be even passing James or Cipre in the, in the free. But it'll be just enough in the overall. Well, they will hang on for the silver, but it is Du Hamill and Radford 